a lot of people would drive through Sweet Springs and think it's a community that's struggling. Sweet Springs is trying to turn the corner. But what Zuhan has captured is in what may first appear to be a dying community, she can capture how much life this community has. She's just done a wonderful job of, ca of capturing the essence of what Sweet Springs is. And what's amazing is uh, she came from so far off to do it. Our own land is my graduation project. My goal for this project is to figure out stereotypes and how the community members think about their community under outsider stereotypes. I feel like a lot of outside people like me have stereotypes on rural community. People really like focus on negative parts of rural towns like high poverty rates, lack of infrastructure, something like that. That one's cool. That one, that one. So for my research, I interviewed people individually by showing them my photos. So the first round of interview, I actually showed them the photos I took based on my stereotype impressions. But it's funny, like, when they look at those abandoned houses, they don't feel like they don't have that negative emotion because those places like contain their memory, their life. Many people told me that you shouldn't just look at the thing on the surface. Like the heart of our community, it's our people. So this feedback I got from the first round of interview kind of changed the direction of my project. I started to notice the things which is important for community members, but not just attract me. Oh, is that huh? me over yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, good morning. <laughs> I feel like one of the best decisions I've made for this project is I kind of moved to Sweet Spring. I got more opportunities because I spent a lot of time just walking around the town without, without my camera. So I can see the changes of light, just talking to people. It's so peaceful. It's so different. It, it is. I don't know. It's so gray. It is so gray. <laughs>